okay this is a part two of introduction to optics rules of image formation okay so in the previous lecture we have discussed all about the basically all about the terminologies like what are the center of curvature radius of curvature pole focal point focal length and these all terminologies okay now how the image are formed like wh what 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 is the what is basically the image like in the microscope in the lens we see we see some of the rays diagram how do we understand the rays diagram so this is the image formation before doing any image formation we need to know the three rules of image formation okay so the first rule is let me take a scale okay there are three rules to form an image of an object the first one is light ray coming parallel to the principal axis goes from focal point after refraction okay so how how it is working first make always uh, see i will explain you with the convex and the concave lens both all the diagrams okay all the rules we will make a convex lens always remember when you are making a convex lens please as as when i i explain in the class all the people are making a convex lens like this maybe like this or very very thick no please don't make such type of lenses in in the in the no, uh, in the exam book convex lens always like this okay what is the way to make first make a line and then turn your copy turn your notebook just do like this then turn your notebook and make like this so this is your convex lens okay don't don't make convex lens like a potato like you made like this okay this is very important you need to make the convex lens nicely okay so when the convex lens is made you need to show the principal axis principal axis always in the center and with the dotted line okay always make a line like this okay in the exam you will be given a graph paper so you need to make a line and then you need to make measure everything when you are making it okay so three rules light ray coming parallel to the principal axis so i'll just explain you first i'm not taking any measurements in this this is a light ray which is parallel it will come to the center and then it will converge it is converging here again there is a light ray which is coming parallel in this direction and it will converge like this okay so this is going this is going like this and where it is where it is going this is this point is known as focus or the focal point and the center point you all know what is that point o optical point okay these rays are getting this so this is your f and this is your f at this side okay this is for convex lens what is this happening sorry okay this is your convex lens okay if you need to show this same diagram with the concave lens again sorry class oh, what is happening okay so for this i'll ex i will just make a line in the center okay and a ray which is parallel to the what is happening here okay a ray which is parallel this is a parallel ray okay now because it is a concave lens so what will happen to the ray it will not converge it will diverge so it is diverging okay a ray which is parallel and it is diverging sorry i don't know what is happening with this now so this okay so this is diverging okay so in concave lens the rays diverge 
and they appear to meet so i'm just doing with the dotted line sorry for the disturbance so i'm doing with the dotted line and they will meet at this point and this point is known as focus okay so this is your concave lens okay now the first rule is basically any ray which is parallel to the principal axis will pass through the focus point this is your first rule second rule light ray coming from focal point goes parallel to the principal axis okay we don't need to suppose this is your o this is your f and this is your f so if any ray which is coming through the focal point like this so it will pa it will be parallel to the principal axis this is rule number 2 so any ray which is parallel to the which is, which is coming to the focal point it will be parallel to the principal axis this is for convex lens and and the another one is for the concave lens so for concave lens you all know how it will work so any ray which is coming like this it is passing it it will meet here and it is it is basically a diverging it will meet here at focal point but what will happen to this they will become parallel they will become parallel to this okay so rays coming like this they are appearing and they will become parallel so this is for the concave lens so i'm just mentioning this is for convex and this is for concave lens another one light ray goes undeviated without changing its direction if it falls on the optical center of the lens okay so this is your optical center okay what will happen any light ray any light ray okay let us show with the green pen which is which is coming from the optical center okay okay let me show like this any light ray which is coming from the optic center will pass through the optical center without deviation okay so it will just pass like this again any ray which is passing through the optical center it will go it will go pass like this so this is your rule number 3 so when we make when we make this for the concave lens it will be the same this is your optical center will just pass this ray like this and what is happening with this sorry class for the disturbance i don't know what is happening okay so it will pass through like this and it will pass through like this okay so this is for convex lens and this is for concave lens okay now uh, see these three rules you need to remember the first point always when a ray is parallel it will pass through focus second when a ray is passing through focus it will be parallel to the principal axis and the third one any ray which is going through the optical center will pass through its undeviated okay let me give you an example from the convex lens very important example so when we are making any figure just mark here this is your optical point o this is your f f here this is your 2f this is a double of focus lens when you are doing in exam a graph paper will be given to you so you need to you need to uh, draw them measure everything suppose a distance between o and f is suppose 2 cm then what will be the distance between o and 2f will be 4 cm always remember when you are making these pictures remember the distance must be proper so you need to measure the distance so your image will be proper if you will measure the distance like this 
okay now how to do the image formation what obviously if we are making an image that means we need an object suppose we 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 have mentioned there is an object suppose i am putting an object here okay this is an object here what will happen the first rule it will pass through the it will pass through the uh, it is the ray which is parallel to the principal axis it will pass through the focus like this it is passing through it okay this is your first rule second rule you need to the ray which is passing through the optical center will pass like this as it is okay this is the second rule and the third rule is a ray which is sorry okay let me draw this optical center line nicely okay let me draw this optical center like this and the third ray is the ray which is passing through the focus this is passing through the focus and then it will be parallel to the this thing okay so now you can see that the image is forming somewhere here this is your image okay this is your image this is your object here and this is your image okay always remember to do the arrows and okay so you can draw this for the concave lens by yourself how to draw the image from the concave lens okay or maybe i'll explain you now now wait so this is basically the image formation how to do the image formation now the image is real virtual erected that i will show you in the next lecture okay always remember the diagrams must be drawn with the help of the rulers if it will not be the rulers then it will not be formally correct okay now this is the concave lens concave lens very simple again we will just make a center line will draw a ray which is coming parallel to the principal axis it will get diverged a ray coming to the parallel axis it will become diverged like this and then what will happen they will meet at a point they will meet at a point like here at focus okay another one is suppose no 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 no, no, no. let let us just remove everything okay let us say this is a center point okay this is an object suppose this is an object okay so any ray which is parallel to it it will become diverge okay second rule we need to pass the ray from the optical center and it will go through this and the third rule is what will happen so we will just sit so it will be your image so this is your object and this is your image okay always remember when you are doing the image formation only two two rules will be applied the third rule will it's not necessary to do the image formation so this is your image uh, so in concave lens always remember the image will be on the same side of the lens it will not go the other side okay we'll do all the examples in the next lecture i hope in this lecture just remember all the three rules for any image formation you need to remember all these three rules the focus point the the ray which is parallel will pass through the focus second the optical center this one is the second rule and the third one is the the any ray which is passing through the focus will be the parallel to the principal axis okay